Experts warn that there's not much we can do despite real threat of a supervolcano eruption. A volcanologist warned that there is hardly anything in place to counter the threat of an eruption at one of the world's supervolcanoes, and that little would prevent an ensuing chaos. There's at least 21 supervolcanoes around the Earth, and we have two supervolcanoes at least in the United States. One is Yellowstone, the other is Long Valley Caldera on the West Coast. There are volcanoes and there are supervolcanoes, massive structures that spew out at least a thousand times more material than regular large volcanoes on eruption. Supervolcanoes that have erupted in the past are totally identified by large depressions in the ground known as calderas. Eruptions at these sites known as super eruptions take place at intervals of tens of thousands of years, with the most recent event occurring at uh, Tapo on the North Island of New Zealand, that happened to about uh, 27,000 years ago. While the chances of another super eruption in the near future are very real, some experts say there's little we can do to prevent the absolute havoc that would follow, and that many of the calderas are not even being monitored. Professor Christopher Kilburn, volcanologist at University College London, told Express UK that it was a myth that the world supervolcanoes are being watched by the appropriate authorities. Worryingly, he says supervolcanoes are of such a size that it's nearly impossible to prepare against their eventual eruptions. When hazards like these things become so huge, you really cannot prepare very much, he said. We see with very large earthquakes, the best you can do is try and build buildings that are unlikely to fall, but for the rest, what can you do? You just have to hope to God that, they're, that when the earthquake starts, they stay up. But of course, when you see around the world where buildings do inevitably collapse after regular earthquakes, but there are very few contingency plans after that. There are just emergency measures to help people. These scenarios are bad enough when individual cities are struck by natural disasters, but with a super eruption at the site like Yellowstone Caldera in the US, an entire country could be enveloped by thick smog and fine dust particles, placing it in a chokehold and pausing any normal way of life indefinitely. Imagine central parts of the US being knocked out of action, the wheat belt, all the agricultural, produ uh, the, the agricultural production areas would be just wiped out. It's a huge task to think about, and what would the survivors do? Presumably, there would be huge migration to safer areas, would those countries be able to accommodate those millions of people? There are hundreds of thousands of people living in an area that a Yellowstone eruption would immediately affect, and the estimated damage caused would total over, well, it says here 7.4 million pounds, I think he wants to say billion, in a country already economically ruined. The problem, Professor Kilburn said, is that there are currently no contingency plans in place that would look to overcome the effects of an eruption. The realistic version of what would happen in the aftermath is that we did, we'd be running around like chick, headless chickens, he said. And what would come after just can't be anticipated. We can prepare as much as we want, but things will go wrong because we just don't know what to expect with human reaction to something on such a large scale. Whole plans will collapse because some things won't work as expected. Imagine if that's something that is a thousand times worse than something that has happened before, and it's inconceivable to think of. This is on Express UK by Joel Day. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.